let's face it, AI and platforms like ChatGPT are here to stay. And if you're not utilizing them in your private practice, you're going to fall behind. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up ChatGPT how to personalize it so that it can give you the best results possible and also the kind of things that you can use ChatGPT for. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Kim. I help therapists in private practice with their business systems and processes, getting them confident with admin and reducing tech overwhelm. And that is exactly what we're going to do today. I'm going to take you into my computer and share my screen so that I can show you how to set up ChatGPT, how to personalize it so that you can get the best results. And I'm going to tell you some of the ways that you can use ChatGPT in your private practice. So let's start there before we jump into my computer. There are many ways that you can use ChatGPT. And the way that I'm going to show you in the video is how you can create thoughtfully written email templates for your private practice. Now, I actually do have a free resource, which I will link, which does give you some templates. These email templates will give you a really good starting point of how you can reply to really commonly asked questions and common things that come up in private practice, such as creating a welcome email, replying to inquiries, replying to cancellation requests and things like that. But you can also achieve this with ChatGPT. You can give it the information about your practice and what it is that you want to say and how you want to say it. And it will be able to write a really well written email for you. And you can then obviously personalize it yourself. But ChatGPT is a great starting point for you. I'm also going to put some other ways that you can use ChatGPT in your private practice up on the screen, but I don't want this video to be about that. What I really want to do is bring you into my computer so that I can help you feel more confident with using the platform. So let's get straight into that. Okay, so to create a ChatGPT account, all you need to do is go to Google and just type in ChatGPT. Okay, and then you just need one of these open AI ones. So let's just go to this one here and then just click start now. And then you'll just need to sign up. And then what you want to do is you can either add in your email address and then create a password, or you can continue with any of these options here. And then you'll just use your Google, Microsoft account or Apple account to log into ChatGPT. So once you're in ChatGPT, you can basically start talking to it straight away. But what I would actually suggest is if you go to your profile up here and go to customize ChatGPT and here you can customize who you are and what you really want to help with and also how you would like ChatGP to respond. So you've got 1500 characters to tell ChatGPT all about yourself. So if you click into the box, it's going to give you some thought starters. So where you base, what do you do for work, what are your hobbies? So really what you want to talk about is who you are in relation to what you want ChatGPT to help you with. So if you are primarily going to be using this for work, you would put information in here. So you would say you are a therapist in private practice. These are the kind of people you help. You can also talk about anything you want in your own personal life if you decide that you want to use ChatGPT for more than just work purposes. But here we've got some thought starters. So just start sort of answering the questions, talking about yourself so that ChatGPT learns who you are and it's going to help in its responses. Then down here, you can say how you'd like ChatGPT to respond. So how formal you want them to be, whether the answers are long or short, how would you like to be addressed, and should ChatGPT have opinions on topics or remain neutral? So you can put all the information here. Again, you've got 1500 characters, which is loads. So you can really personalize as much as possible your ChatGPT experience. Once that's done, you just wanna click save. And then you can go ahead and ask ChatGPT for some help. So for my example, I am going to ask ChatGPT to create a welcome email for my clients. I'm always polite to ChatGPT. Let's see what ChatGPT has to say about that. Okay, this is awesome. So we now have a 
really well structured practice welcome email now obviously you don't want to just copy and paste you want to put your own personality on there but this is such an amazing starting point for you to welcome clients into your practice it's included stuff about your session fee cancellation policy like life can be unpredictable and we understand that sometimes plans change like amazing appointment details how they will receive it paperwork and forms now here <clears throat> What I would suggest is saying, we're not sending you the links, the links will be included, but ChatGPT doesn't know that. So that's fine. We can just say the links to the forms are below, blah, 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 blah. And you can just, you know, change that part of the welcome email. And then contact information, like all this stuff is amazing. And what I would 100% put into a welcome email. Now, what I would say is the more information you give ChatGPT, the better. So you'll notice that up here, I said about please include details about my session fee, my 48 hour cancellation policy, that I will send them appointment details via Google Calendar and that my paperwork is included as Google Form links. So you do need to give it that information. If I had just said, can you create a welcome email for me? It wouldn't have been this detailed. So you really want to feed it as much information as you can so that you can get the best information out. You can then also have conversations back and forth with ChatGPT. So you might say something like, this is awesome Awesome. Can, can I have a shorter version as well? So maybe you work with children and you'd like a shorter version for that. Let's try that. Okay, so I'm now telling ChatGPT, awesome, thank you, but I also work with children. Can you create me a shorter version of this welcome email with more child-friendly language? So it has about the session fee, tells them what the session fee is and your parents. I probably wouldn't include anything about the session fee for the children. So you can just take that part out. Um, but we didn't tell ChatGPT to remove that part. So it's basically just working with like my previous question and then just adding the new information in so yes we do need to, like cancellation policy great yeah great that's fine um with the appointment details instead of make sure to check it and let your parents know we can say we'll also let your parents know you know stuff like that here's some fill forms to be filled out amazing so this is great and then you can just go back and forth if needed and you can also build on this you can say awesome thank you for this now can you create me uh, an email that i can send my clients when they have cancelled without giving me notice and then you can just go back and forth on this it's so quick for you to be able to get really good content that you can just edit in your own style and that's why it's really great to personalize your chat gbt so it will reply to you how it thinks you'd like to be uh, reply to it also starts to learn more about you as you use it so i really hope that you found this demonstration useful so i really hope you found that tutorial useful and i really hope that it's helped you feel more confident with getting started with chat gpt like i mentioned in the intro there are so many ways that you can use chat gpt in your private practice and you can even ask chat gpt what can you help me with explain who you are what it is you do and what you're trying to achieve and it will give you loads of examples all by itself the main point is that you are utilizing ChatGPT to help and assist you in your private practice it really can work a bit like having your own virtual assistant for research for copywriting and loads of other things yes it can't deal with your clients directly and help you reschedule your appointments and deal with your invoicing and things like that. But it really can help you with so many things. And I'd love for you to start using it in your private practice, seeing how it can help you and feeling really confident with the platform. If you'd like any more tutorials on ChatGPT and how it can work specifically for you in private practice, please leave a comment below. I'd love to make some more videos on this if you think it will be useful. But for now, thanks so much for watching.